The overall goal of this procedure is to illustrate the predictable series of morphological changes that occur during the regeneration of a complete polyp from a tiny section of tissue removed from the aboral tip of Nematostella victensis. This method can help answer key questions in regeneration biology, such as how cells at the site of a wound reorganize and deploy to remake the missing structures. I first had the idea for this method because I wanted to see how a relatively complex polyp could put itself back together starting with the least amount of morphological information. Visual demonstration of this method is critical because stage progression after the initial wounding is sometimes obscured by a mucous membrane. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle to obtain a complete separation of the tissue at the wound site because of the soft, sticky, gelatinous nature of the polyp. Begin this procedure with conditioning of nematostella victensis as described in the text protocol. It's especially important when using this technique that the animals selected are the same size and have the same culture history, such as identical feeding and other conditioning parameters. Remove the dish of selected animals from the incubator into room light at least one hour prior to amputation. Use a wide bore plastic pipette to transfer the five animals from the pool to be amputated into the bottom of a sterile glass cutting dish of 100 millimeter diameter containing artificial seawater at a salinity of 12 parts per thousand. Place the dish onto the stage of a stereo microscope with variable magnification between 10 to 40x.